The wellness part of safety, I think what we've got here at Yatla Brewery is probably uh, best in class that I've seen. It's a dream relationship that we have between WorkCover and Fosters. It's made so much easier by the uh, programs that uh, Fosters have in place to support their, their workers. There's not a lot of claims from Fosters considering the size of the organisation and, and the nature of the work that they do. Yatla's a big, big player in the industry. This site is just under 25% of the whole Australian market. When you've got fast moving machinery, always a risk of getting injured. The types of injuries that we get here at CUB Yatla, we have a lot of glass within the plant, so we do see a lot of lacerations from glass and also metal. We have a lot of shoulder strains, manual handling type injuries. Particularly just from repetitive use, so forklift drivers, they're constantly driving and constantly um, using their arm, they're, they're prone to those tendinopathies on the forearm. And also the receptionist staff, so constantly using the mouse and typing and, and writing, those kind of things. We do do some really good work here and we are very proactive and we are very innovative in terms of the health and wellness programs that we run for our employees. We have a foot health safety program. We recognise that our employees are standing for up to 12 hours on concrete. So as part of that program we get a podiatrist to come in. The podiatrist will assess employees whether they have a problem or not to diagnose if there are any issues and then if they do need any support, for example with orthotics, then we will provide the employee with a set of orthotics in order to help them do their job safely and with the most comfort. What we found through that is a lot of the back problems, the neck problems and the hip problems people were feeling suddenly disappeared because they were having the correct support with their feet. We've also got our physiotherapy program which is more than just providing a treatment. So for example at the moment we're doing some forklift screenings, so I'll have a look at how they move and from that they get an individualised stretching program and then we also collate all that data together and that tells us is there a particular pattern with everyone who's um, on the forklift and then what can we do to reduce their risk of injury. And then we're also doing a stretching program at the moment down on the can um, and bottling line. We've had a couple of, of shoulder injuries recently where the, the, the shoulder may have not been warm so our stretching program we've, we've done is designed for the activities that they're going to be doing on the line. We do have a lot of low cost health activities for example with our bowel cancer screening program we're able to get free speakers to come in. We've had Pilates, we've had uh, different initiatives for people going on diets and walking and we use any uh, particular health promotion that's being actively promoted by different government departments, such as Stroke Week, to start having discussions about those particular conditions. They try and cater for everyone's needs, and I think that's a really big bonus working for Fosters. I feel very safe at Fosters, and I wouldn't be here if I didn't. Now what we are seeing is that some of our people are actively health seeking, they're detecting disorders early if they do have disorders and they know now at that point that they need to get some physiotherapy treatment and if they do that early they're going to recover a lot quicker than if they just put up with it and continue on working. The benefit of that to us is that our work cover claims experiences drop down. We're not getting as many claims now because people are getting the proactive treatment at the start. The desire of the workers to actually come back to work is really obvious in this workplace in comparison to some others. And some of that is, is the culture within the, the organisation. I certainly think if we didn't have the focus on health, health and safety of uh, our employees, the culture would be a lot worse. I think your bottom line cost would be lower, the quality would be worse, certainly the morale would be down. Fosters definitely has the happiest workers I've seen. I think the level of care they get here from physiotherapy through to podiatry, um, through to all the screenings they get definitely makes everyone a lot happier. And, uh, I think it encourages everyone to stay here for longer because they know they get that extra level of care that they may not get elsewhere. I have been here 23 years and I'm with the company that long because they're dedicated to employees and as an employee we give the dedication back.